cool USB. Picking up a random USB stick probably isn't the best idea. In the last episode, we taught you how to protect yourself against cyber threats. In this episode, we're going to teach you how network CNCs do away with USBs altogether. This is Smarter Shop. My name is Ryan Kelly. I'm a manufacturing and supply chain technologist for AMT. My job is to get tech into industry faster. Today, we're solving manufacturing challenges with bite-sized solutions. Give us 10 minutes and we'll give you a smarter shop. Adam. Hey, bud. Welcome to the Autodesk Technology Center in San Francisco. It's great to be here. I just saw some mustachioed clown pick up a random USB off the side of the street. Well, I don't want that in this shop because as we learned, USBs can have a lot of malicious software on them, and they're not really the most efficient way to transfer files to our CNC machines on the shop floor. Sounds like you've got a demonstration plan. You bet I do, Ryan. Let me introduce you to a couple of my team members and we'll show you how we connected our shop. Awesome. Wow, great setup. Hey, thanks, Ryan. Allow me to introduce you to Alana and Orion. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Ryan. Here at the Technology Centers, we do applied industry research. We like to connect our CAD CAM software to machines that our customers are using. Sometimes they're facing challenges, and we like to demonstrate the solutions using the same machines that they're using. Other than our advanced hybrid machine, the machines you find here at the Tech Center are representative of machines that you'd find in any shop. We have a CNC mill, a mill turn machine, a water jet, a five axis machine, an automated engaging system, and a little high speed machine tucked back in the corner. You know, during COVID, we actually had to shut the shop down, but it gave us an opportunity to take a step back and see how we could connect our workshops. We actually built a dedicated machine network that connects all these machines you see here on the shop floor. That's really cool. And I imagine with these connected machines, you can do things like monitor spindle utilization, you can do some predictive maintenance and other sorts of monitoring. But what else are you doing with it? That's all correct, but the benefits are much more fundamental. And we set up a demonstration to show you what a connected workshop is versus a less connected workshop. Awesome. So I have my part geometry loaded into my CAM software and the communication breakdown happens when I want to post-process this into G-code. A post-processor is a piece of software that takes the vectors of the CAM program and turns it into code. That code is run on the machine code during program operation. Traditionally, shops spend up to 90% of their time doing setup and programming to get to that first part. To start machining your part, you need the right post processor, and that's likely on a sticky. And this note doesn't communicate anything about the machine setup, the fixtures that are in the machine, the tools, the part, or its orientation. If you don't want to risk it, load your model, run simulation for collision detection. Depending on your machine, the setup could take as little as 20 minutes or up to several weeks. And with delays like that, the risk is a programmer and setup person won't do all those proper checks. They'll just hit cycle start and hope for the best. And when you use hope as a strategy, you run into rubbing your shoulder or a damaged tool or damaging your spindle. And then there's the risk of scrapping a part because you put it in the machine in the wrong orientation. Using a USB at the controller can lead to potential time inefficiencies and potential errors that lead to crashes. And with a fleet of similar but not identical machines, it's only a matter of time before you mix up between machine one and machine two's post-processor, and that leads to a crash. Or get suckered by an novelty flash drive loaded with malicious code that can ruin your day. So it sounds like the, if it ain't broke, don't fix it approach is actually broken. Yeah, it is. You know, we're actually at an inflection point in North America where it's easier than ever to leverage digital technologies. And job shops need to get on board because if they don't, their competitors will beat them to it. So how do we take these connected CNCs and make a smarter shop? Well, it all starts with the CAD CAM software, like Fusion 360. 
Our software connects directly to machines on the shop floor here, like the Haas Next Generation Controller and the Mazak iConnect. We have built-in drivers that actually recognize the machines on the network and connect to them, giving you the ability to post files to them. We call this instant-on productivity. Sounds like a printer driver. Exactly. Let me show you. I like the printer driver analogy. Let me show you what I have set up with Mazak iConnect. So here you have your project going. You select your output folder. It'll give you machining center or very access for milling operations. You select your post processor, which will be contextual based on the machine you have selected. Then you can just export tools, part, fixture, and stock with one simple click on export project. And I really love how on the Mazak you can load your fixture, your vise, and your part and simulate to avoid making collisions. And we hope to expand on that capability in the future to be able to have two-way communication to understand what tools are in the machine. That'll help us make decisions on what tools to use or not use for programming. Let me give you an example. I have two half-inch three-flue roughing tools here, one with a lot of flute length and one that's nice and short. If you end up wanting to use the nice long one for a deep cut and you select the short one on accident, you can run the tool holder into the part. So you really want to have the information right at hand at which tool you have selected so that you know you have the cutting length that you need and reduce the risk of an error. Exactly. With two-way communication, you can verify the adjustments you're making with your machine with less time and much less risk. As you can imagine, when you're loading your tool, you want to see the adjustments you're making without causing downtime. I'd also like to point out that CAD CAM software is constantly evolving, and with two-way communication, we're going to be able to see this in-machine data inside that software. Connect the network switch and give my machine data! That's really powerful for making data-informed decisions on the shop floor. I can see how that'd be useful if you know how much wear is already on a tool, you'll know when you need to change it out before you break that tool, you scrap a part. And by connecting your machines on the network, it gives small and medium-sized job shops the capabilities that only the OEMs have been able to leverage for many years now. Wait a minute, larger OEMs can learn from this too. In my experience, I had to do gimbal walks to do physical rounds and collect physical data. Now with a connected shop, some of that data is already on my PC. I could see that having that data in advance could have made your gimbal walks more efficient, or maybe reduce the number of gimbal walks that you had. It's clear that not just smaller shops could benefit from this connected shop technology. Well, you guys have clearly demonstrated a superior workflow here. Will you convince me? I need a connected shop, but how would I go about getting that done? Well, we can't give you the exact details on it, but we can give you some high level steps to start with. To summarize in four steps, First, know your hardware. Second, establish a network. Third, integrate your hardware into your secure network and then test it. And with companies like Machine Metrics, you can take all that machine data and put it up on a dashboard in the cloud. Just plug and play. They've got this little edge device. It's basically a computer in the box. And with it, you can connect your entire shop. And for a small shop, you could even just connect it with a cellular modem. So we started this conversation talking about the security advantage of not having USBs floating around but we also learned that you can avoid tool collisions and crashing your machine by having everything on one centralized network. Thank you all so much for showing me what you guys have been working on here. It's more secure, it's less risky, it's more efficient, and it allows you to take advantage of the data in a way that you would not have been able to do so before. Clearly, having a dedicated machine network is the foundation of a smarter shop.